You might want to clench your butt cheeks because, ladies and gentlemen, Call of Shame ended up getting cancelled. <laughs> cancelled. Fully. Gone. Just donezo. We're talking about season 2. We also are hearing about the EDP situation. We are hearing about the PD flag, the Seitong situation. Those of you that are familiar, you know what I'm going to be talking about. And yep, that's a massive controversy going around. And we're going to get into the story. But ladies and gentlemen, you might want to crack your knuckles. You might want to sit down. If you love your mama, drop a thumbs up. Do not chase that pom-pom. Chase your dreams and wing that like button, okay? Because our first story is coming from Charlie Intel. And check this. They are saying... You're probably familiar with it. It's called the, the Museum Map. And essentially, they are implying... This is going to sound rough, okay? So fast on your seatbelts. They are implying that this is going to be that brand new map in season two Bumbaka. that's exactly what they're talking about man infinity war no new content same maps is new content ladies and gentlemen and uh, this situation got so out of hand so i should play this one here hunter tv came out says i imagine this gets added into the <laughs> Season 2 as new content. Oh my god, guys. I'm shaking. I'm, I'm shaking. shaking. We got Charlie to drop it like a shish emoji. We got Rich right away. Says that if they use this map to hype us season up with season 2, I am done. Done mean donezo. Gone. Now, apparently, Bruh. toxic and problematic YouTuber by the name of Eight Thoughts. Eight Thoughts. Eight Thoughts. Eight Thoughts. He came out and says that new season 2 content confirmed. I am serious. And ladies and gentlemen, you're not gonna believe this one, but... The homie Zach. <laughs> Stupid. I I cannot believe it, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for the homie. Give it up. Uh, I love the homie. I got no problem. He's making his content. He's happy with Modern Warfare 2. That's perfectly fine. But I just cannot compute this. The season two changes for Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 looks incredible. Um. Done. Throw that mo mother fucking headset away, bruh. Incredible! Incredible! Are you out of your goddamn mind? But ladies and gentlemen, now we're gonna dive into some sensitive topic, okay? We're gonna be switching up and understand this. This is in gaming. This is in Call of Duty. Bruh. Yep, hold up, wait a minute, Jake Lucky came out, says that this creature can't be real, if you're not sitting down, you need to sit down immediately, Call of Shame got cancelled, he said this, I'm sick and tired of these LGBTQ, P plus bacon and lettuce, <laughs> to metal flags in Modern Warfare 2, please add a tick box, stating allow them to be shown, they are censored in the Middle East, why should the Christians and Muslims be exposed to this nonsense? says the hit i received for trying to express an opinion to censor the lgbtqp plus flags based on my deep christian values is shameful i don't care about psychology i just want to play call of duty i don't like this being forced upon me my rights are being threatened by activists and then follows up by saying i'm not asking for the lgbtqp plus flags to be removed from the game all i'm asking for is to respect my Christian values and others who do not wish to look at these flags, even in the selection menu. The Middle East have censored this, so why can't everyone have this option? And then, says that so Activision Infinity War, th this is truly a bra moment, okay? Bruh. There are so many LGBTQ P plus flags in Modern Warfare 2, and the only American flag in the game is burning on the ground, my man. Bombaka! I just cannot even compute that. Stop this, add the country flags back, and stop this woke non nonsense, he says. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can disagree or agree with this man wholeheartedly. That's perfectly fine. The situation here is that Jake Lucky, and the situation here is that we, are, we all want to have free speech. We're all fighting for free speech, but it's problematic when they get free speech. I'm fighting for free speech. I want free speech. I want you to have free speech. But the second you talk about it and the second you use that privilege, the second you use that free speech, all of a sudden you're toxic. We're gonna take your rights away. We are all fighting for everyone's rights. And in my honest opinion, everybody should have rights. Everybody should be treated equally. Everybody should have rights. We should not be pushing over agendas everyone's uh, down everyone's throats. But we should be talking openly and having a dialogue we should be having a conversation this is how we evolve as a species this is how we get better because sometimes my ideas are wrong sometimes your ideas are wrong sometimes my ideas are correct sometimes your ideas are correct and together when we come and we tag team we're powerful but it's gotten to the point where people that claim 
Jake Lucky in this example, people that claim to give everybody free speech and to give everybody rights, they are the same people taking other rights away. You can disagree with Call of Shame here. You can agree with them. But it's really getting to the point where they are really pushing this agenda heavy. You don't believe me? We're, we're talking, objectively speaking, okay? We're talking about Call of Duty. It's a shooter game. It has more flags than maps. I, I just cannot even compute that, bro. That truly is a bro moment. It has more flags than maps. You're talking about having representation for everyone. Perfectly fine. You can have representation for everyone. Pretty decent if you want to do that, okay? Listen, it's a game. You're pushing agenda, whatever, okay? Push that agenda all you want. You can want to have representation. Perfectly fine. But if you want to have representation for everyone, can we get, like, country flags? Can we, we get, like... Because I'm Pakistani. I'm Canadian. Can I get a Pakistani flag? Can I get a Canadian flag? Okay, no worries. We cannot have that. Uh, problematic, toxic. This game is made in America, right? Uh, can we have an American flag? <laughs> it doesn't even have an American flag. That is, that is insane to me. Now, the flags are not the issue here. It's just that they are pushing this so hard that that's basically the main thing right now. And the, the situation here is that if you are following God, if you're following your religion, again, you can disagree with him. You can absolutely disagree with him and it's perfectly fine. Free speech means you can talk about it openly, your ideas and your beliefs. As long as you're not hurting anyone, right? If you're hurting, then obviously this is not correct. But it's really getting to the point where people that follow their belief, people that follow God, people that follow their religion, now they're considered toxic. It's, it's really getting to the point where following God, if you follow God, if you follow your religion, even if you're atheist, I got respect for everybody, okay? Like, as long as you're not hurting other people, as long as you're a good human being, I don't care about your sexuality, okay? But spiritually, if you are, if you're following God, they're gonna, soon enough, in fact, they already are, but soon enough, it's really gonna get to the point where if you're following God, if you're following your religion, you're gonna be considered a bad human being. You're, they already are doing it, but, but, but when does it stop? They're just trying to divide us. They're also trying to include that P flag, which we're gonna get into in just a second. They are really pushing the agenda heavy. See what happened with Velma? I mean, that was quite some uh, thing, but diving into some another controversial topic. Ow! Listen, man, that's gaming, y'all. Like, I'm not pick, ch cherry picking these topics. These are the topics you guys are talking about, and this is what's going around. This is what's trending. This is what's happening in gaming, and especially Call of Duty. I will link you this video because I'm not gonna dive super deep into this one. Those of you that are completely out of the loop, uh, just hear me out, and then I will link you that video, and you can check it out, and it's gonna make a whole lot of sense because this situation is with the sake tongue this is a 20 dollars bundle some believe it some don't and that's perfectly fine again free speech i will let you have it okay i will let you talk about it sake tongue is a 20 dollars skin that is linked with a pd camo edp situation i cannot say certain words on youtube but you probably understand now let me tell you why i have made a dedicated video which i went over why it can be i talked about the controversy that's going around i also talk about the counter argument where it can be a mistake or it might not be because objectively speaking the colors that you see here there's a flag there's a pd flag truly disgusting stuff that flag is out there they're trying to normalize that but the situation here is that this a camel matches up with that flag, but it does not a hundred percent. It does not match, objectively speaking, okay? That's the cold hard truth. But the colors are actually representing that PD flag. All of these colors are on that PD flag. That That is a fact, but the order is a little bit wrong. It's more like 90% 90, 90 match. This can, objectively speaking, it can be a mistake. I will link you that video and you're gonna check it out, okay? And you're gonna understand objectively speaking it can truly be a mistake but the situation here is that you're gonna believe what you want to believe you're either gonna believe that this was not a mistake or you're gonna believe this was a mistake this is something that one of my viewer came uh, uh, one of the viewer actually said mia i'm not familiar with it uh with the south korean culture but he came on and says oh, sorry i just want to say as a south korean who actually celebrates the year of the rabbit and admires sake tong using our culture to make a cover up for their true intention on the skin seriously offends me sake tong has never had that pattern in 2000 plus years it has existed never in that order it actually hurts that people are so sick that are creating weapon skins to promote something so sick uh, in other words uh, the pd situation that's one person's opinion they could be wrong they might be correct listen i don't know i don't claim to know everything and anything okay i uh, in fact like i'm not south korean uh, no disrespect 
I got respect for every tradition out there as long as they're not hurting, okay? But uh, Sei Tong allegedly, supposedly, didn't had colors in that order, but that PD flag has those colors, and that's the controversy. Again, it can be a mistake, or maybe it's not a mistake, maybe it happens to be that the designer who made it was truly believing that ideology, was truly believing that PD flag, and that's why he put it in the game, it, it went under their nose. I, I know it's hard to believe that, but 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 it's like, that's kind of like the theory going around, that's like the, uh, the, the, the other side of the argument, because it would truly be unjust to not talk about the other side because Activision has not responded and truly the severity of this issue is very severe let's just say it, it truly is it truly is okay this is a very uh, deep topic I, I think everybody should talk about it but again we should talk about both sides because it can truly be a mistake ladies and gentlemen click on this video I went over the entire controversy if you want to know what's happening right now in Call of Duty yeah click on that video they do not want you to see that video or click the video on the left because Romanian forces shot a UFO. Click on that and I will see you right